Hello and welcome to the big picture. The Delhi University is under throes of pain. For teachers, students and parents, it's time of uncertainty as there is no clarity on whether the four-year degree programs introduced last year will be continued this year or not. The change in the system came about under controversial circumstances last year following the Delhi University Vice Chancellor's decision to push for it. The decision had the backing of then UPA government and the HRD ministry. However, with the change in government at the centre and the BJP apparently not in favour of the four-year course, there is confusion now. The UGC, which had taken a positive view earlier, has now called for a review of the system. Meanwhile, with the admissions to the Delhi University underway, both students and parents are anxious about the fate of the four-year system. The teachers who have been opposed to it last year are now demanding that it be scrapped and returned to a three-year system. Should the four-year course be scrapped, or continued for some more time. We will discuss this today with Professor Mushirul Hassan, former Vice Chancellor Jamia Milia Islamia University, Professor Saikat Ghosh, Executive Member Delhi University Teachers Association, Aman Awana, President Delhi University Students Union and ABUP leader, and Shankar Kumar, Assistant Professor at the Hindu College in Delhi on the phone line from Patna. Welcome to all of you. Professor Hassan, do you see this whole issue as an, as an issue of autonomy, so the autonomy of the university or do you see it as something which, you know, under changed circumstances is something is bound to happen? Well, I, I don't think the issue of autonomy is, is involved in this present uh, crisis, uh, which you have very nicely outlined in your introductory remarks. I think we should not forget that Delhi University is one of our premier central universities. And what we should also not forget is that India has that many central universities. And you cannot have one university plotting its own trajectory without any consideration of what the rules of the game are elsewhere. I think I'm not in favor of uniformity, but there must be some degree of consistency within the central universities so that both teachers and students can benefit from being part of the central university system. If I want to move from Allahabad to, to Delhi, I should be able to do so. And if somebody from Delhi wants to go to Vishwabharati, he should, the system should facilitate that kind of movement, which unfortunately is not happening at this moment. Uh, the second, I think, most important thing is that I have also uh, been a vice chancellor and pro vice chancellor of a university. And the sad thing is that the vice chancellors and the pro vice chancellors regard themselves as the sole spokesmen and the sole custodians of, as it were, the educational interest of that particular university or of universities in general. This approach is is not right in a, in the kind of democracy that we have. We need to consult. We need to discuss with our teachers, with our parents, with our students, and we need to evolve a consensus because it's not just my personal idiosyncrasy or, or my personal preference that is involved in an overall of a system, which is what I think the Vice Chancellor of Delhi University was seeking to achieve. It's the future of students. Thousands of it's students. It's the future of thousands of teachers as well, so that an integrated a harmonious approach is required so that the interests of the students and the teachers uh, do not suffer at the one level and as I said and they are acting in unison with the teachers and students of other universities as well. Okay, uh, let me go. Shankar Kumar, can, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, Shankar Kumar, the, the, the issue is that as Professor Hassan says that you know, it, 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 it cannot be, this, this, these issues cannot be taken, uh, these decisions cannot be taken in some, some kind of a unilateral manner. But the fact of the matter is that the Academic Council and the Executive Council of the Delhi University had approved this last year, right? Yeah, uh, in, in fact, uh, you should not be adding uh, had approved it last year as if they have annulled it this year. Mm. Uh, it's it's uh, actually the case that uh, AC and EC and in fact all the statutory bodies uh, through which such kind of a change is uh, supposed to have uh, uh, gone through. Yeah. It has cleared all those bodies and it is not the case of the personal idiosyncrasy of one man called the Vice-Chancellor. 
it is the collective wisdom of the academic council executive council due consultations which have been held and and uh, to to say that uh, through the uh, political outfits and through the street politics if one makes a good case for a scrapping of uh, such a program then that means that the entire uh, uh, apparatus uh, which is involved in taking decisions academic decisions in the university uh, is being pushed aside so that is one and second thing that i would like to add to what uh, professor mushrul hasan was referring to is the lateral mobility that yeah. uh, he alleges that this four year system uh, inhibits right fact of the matter is that with the multi exit uh, uh, options in fact graduation is something which comes after three years right honors is something which is given after four years under uh, four year undergraduate program right and uh, there is also an option to exit after 2 years right so uh, I, i don't see uh, as to why this is being said that it uh, will not facilitate lateral movement in fact any graduate who wants to come and do the post graduation can do it the way the, they did it earlier similarly a graduate uh, from four year undergraduate program can go out if at all he or she wants to do the pg elsewhere after 3 years for any open exam after 3 years which right. is the existing uh, duration okay so it is only for honored which which is uh, in fact the entire architecture is designed in such a way which is inverted funnel kind of a thing where you start from a very large base and try to induce interest of the students in the uh, academic uh, system and retain only those towards the fourth year who are actually interested to take it vertically forward through pg or uh, 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 higher education okay so it is a well thought upon plan i don't know why uh, all these facilities are being vulgarized to this extent i have those are very strong words you are using uh, shankar kumar yes sikat uh, these are very strong words but you know he what he says also makes sense on the face of it he says that why such a big deal is being made out if you want lateral movement 3 years you you get out and all and he's as uh, he's saying that it has gone through the entire process well on the face of it becomes a kind of a caveat because if you've noted his language when he talks about politics of the street it shows the kind of disdain that the administration has exhibited time and again Uh, regarding a democratic uh, voices that are coming up from within the teachers and students movement now yes on the face of it the academic council and executive councils have passed the program but there are repeatedly even to our representations to the visitor and the mhrd we have pointed out we have underlined the statutory violations that have accompanied the process at every step as a result of that today the duta stand that the fyup is an illegal program has been vindicated by the ugc itself it's we, actually we not correct that the ugc took a positive stand last year it didn't take any stand because this is the first time that a full commission of the meeting of the ugc has taken place on the 13th of june they didn't oppose it ugc did not oppose it, it. i'm sure oppose you it people went to the ugc you you people approached all the duta and yes, many yes. people approached we, we, we met the chairperson but there was no i mean there were mem- uh, members within the UGC who demanded that the four year program should be placed on an agenda of a full commission meeting but that didn't happen till as late as 13th june that is uh, last friday now the UGC has found the four year program uh, illegal on the basis of the fact that it violates the national education policy they have, have they, they have not said it's illegal they are asking for a review why are they asking for a review because it does not have any approval why doesn't it have any approval because it's against one national education policy the national education policy in its own right is important because it coordinates as professor hasan says it is important to coordinate a uh, structure between universities so that coordination in order to achieve it the national education policy and it's against that and secondly i think very importantly the four year program was never uh uh you know placed before the government for approval at any level because uh the government you, I, 
apparently the government itself was in favor of this at see the, the, go the government the at that point of time people in the government may have been in favor of it but as a the government never took a policy decision in favor of the four year program had it taken that then it would have committed extra funds and infrastructure and teaching uh, i think uh, professor hasan will be able to give more clarity on this uh, but before i go to hasan aman as a student leader as as a um, you know president of the delhi university students union what is the stand which you the students would like now please look at it from the looking at it from the students point of view here are students who are now getting into the second year of the four year four year course which they got admitted to last year now there is a fresh uh, batch of students about 2 and 1/2 lakh more than 2 and 1/2 lakh students have applied for delhi university and now they are waiting they don't know whether they are going to take up two year three year course or four year course so where do the students stand what is what is the stand of the dusu on this till the time it was introduced in delhi delhi university abvp and students were completely against it we had a survey among students students didn't wanted a four year program in a country like india where students need a job they want employment the excess of one year deprives them from employment we had gone to students we had survey among students but it was completely like students were not in favor of it but now you say ki what do the students will do who are in the second year of the education right. it is like ki one year wouldn't would be waste but we cannot like we cannot take a risk for the next generations who would be studying in delhi university so uh, you are you belong to the abvp now there is a government at the center which which is headed by the bjp you think that your government at the, at the center is in favor of scrapping the system or you think that what is the abvp stand as far as your party government is concerned what is it that you have you people have have you approached the government what does the government say ni nee, first of all i say the abvp is non political organization we are not uh, politically involved with any party we have been we have been to hrd ministry we had a talk with smriti ji he had she had told us that uh, du is an autonomous body and uh, everything would be done considering the students welfare and we believe hrd ministry had uh, given us a hope that it would be scrapped so but she has not given you any assurance that it will be scrapped but you think you are hoping that it will be it can't be like it can't be done in a fraction of second they have asked ugc to form a committee and the committee also has told that it is against national national policy of 10 plus 2 plus 3 the government like is doing things in favor of students professor hasan the role of the ugc in all these things do you agree with saikat ghosh that you know the ugc did not take a stand last year last year well there is you now know, it is taking a, now it's taking it seems to be taking a different stand now there is a problem with the ugc there also yes sir i think in all this as we've just heard uh, these two gentlemen there are serious flaws in the decision making processes uh i think the academic council and the executive council uh, may have approved this project but they did not necessarily reflect the voice of an average teacher or an average student uh these decisions are very that there, there is a problem there professor but these when you when you say are, that you know normal student as we know how do you thing. how do you, how do you get you you have been the vice chancellor of a university i'm sure yeah, but as you we know, you know, come uh, across this kind of thing as we know these <laughs> many of some there are some bodies which ultimately has to take decisions unfortunately many of these decisions are are pushed through because of the authority uh, that the vice chancellor has in any university system uh, and the consensus the word consensus simply eludes uh, many of these bodies uh, i think when you bring about this major transformation in the system uh then you need a wider debate wider consultation uh, at very many different levels which in this case was was it was taken in that. a hurry one of the yeah, one of the yeah. one as of the as far as the government is concerned as far as the government is concerned many of us although my connections with the delhi university are not uh, i mean i'm not uh, an employee of delhi university but many of us 
wrote to the Prime Minister, uh, submitted a very detailed memoranda uh, pointing out the flaws in this new project. And the sad thing is that Prime Minister Ramallah Thapar was one of them, and I think Professor T. N. Madan was, I don't, I'm not sure, but lots of senior faculty members of the university. But the letter was not even, not even acknowledged. acknowledged. Uh, so the question of any discussion with them did not arise. I think the HRD ministry likewise, uh, whether it was Mr. Raju or Shashi Tharu, uh, they, they dealt with this in a very cavalier fashion. Uh, and they thought that this was something which had emanated from the Vice Chancellor and the Vice Chancellor is the sole custodian of, uh, of uh, university interests. Therefore, his voice should be heeded. Now, this is not how you bring about a major... Autonomy. Uh, They're talking of autonomy. They, they spoke of autonomy. Now the present but minister sir, also, also says that it is at Delhi University is an autonomous body. We yeah. cannot intervene. I mean, this is the official stand of any HRD minister, which whichever government they belong to. Can, can but I this come is, autonomy is is. I mean, this is all. Uh, uh, it makes no sense because when it suits the government, it interferes in the day-to-day -day affairs of the university. It even interferes in appointments of faculty members. Uh, when it when it wants to distance itself then that, uh, then from it a controversial strong. issue, uh, then they use autonomy as 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 as, as, a, as a weapon to dis distance themselves. So, so they have to decide uh, uh, whether and what autonomy. Uh, Vice Chancellor is appointed by the ministers by the Ministry of Development. The funds are given uh, by the Ministry of uh, Human Resource Development. Uh, many of other small matters, that is, if I want to uh, confer on you a degree on very causa, will you believe it that I have to seek the permission of the president, who is the visitor of uh, through the HRD? So where is where is that? Where where is I want to add one. Thing on. Second, let me get let me get uh, Shankar in on this. Shankar, you know, they, you are when when you argue out your case, it looks pretty as uh, uh, you know. You have a tight case, but when when you look at when you hear the other other point of view, there is a problem. I I'm sure you'll agree that there there is a problem here. The previous government did not uh, you know ensure that this, this went through this went through the proper process. Or are are or is your argument that Delhi University is an autonomous body and it is taking an autonomous decision? No, my argument is my my argument is not that it is. Uh, uh, it is merely on the on the basis of the autonomous uh, character of the university uh, that this uh, particular program needs to be pushed through despite uh, all these uh, arguments to the contrary my point is that there has been a massive politicization of uh, of uh, this particular issue and you can see why do you very no, no, one second no, no one second shankar why do you think it has been politicized? Who is politicizing it? For whose benefit? Yeah, because the students are... Because the student, the Delhi University Students Union uh, president is sitting here. He says that the students are not in favor of it. The parents, the parents obviously are completely confused. Now, politicizing for whose benefit? Yeah, let, let, let me respond to this particular thing. The academic congress, which was held prior to uh, uh, the, uh, the academic council and executive council where uh, these proposals were placed and were modified and ratified, that had participation not only from students, teachers, former teachers, parents, but even other stakeholders of the university system, sports persons, theater <laughs> persons, administration people, and so forth. Over and above that, Let's also be informed about this, that elected representatives who are talking about this are also having a place in academic council. Let's have a look at who dissented and who supported this at that point of time. Now, changing political thing and, uh, you know, uh, uh, articulating things as per the political convenience and so forth, if... We are going to treat university decisions on the basis of such changes, and I think we are going wrong here. 
let's 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 understand that it's a radical change and of course it will uh, it will excite quite a few people to respond in so many ways shankar shankar that. shankar But sorry let's repose faith and concede Sh little bit of wisdom in those who have brought about this change and please remember this is a four year uh, undergraduate program not even one year has passed and we are uh, we are raising so much of you and cry about it not all its aspects have even unfolded absolutely no shankar application courses applied courses which have not up, up, uh, unfolded absolutely i agree Wait and and uh, analyze the results and I, then uh, there can be an informed debate no no I, i agree with you but you know don't you think that the argument of some of the people who are opposed to it that it was brought in in haste it was enough debate and discussions did not take place there was there should have been at least 2 3 years of discussions and you know debates across bringing in all the stakeholders not hurrying it through the way it was done don't you think they, that they have a point there yeah let 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 me come uh, on this now after one year of intensive debate massive debate around it what is the solution that they are offering go back to three year system go back to the earlier system that was better have they been able to propose any any uh, any program which is in tune with the national aspirations with the, in tune with the uh, demands of the time in tune what? with the emphasis on a skill they have not what, what, what about the thing is that no, no, back okay. to the earlier three year system so if if this is the quality of the debate then perhaps i need to have a relook at it what about what about the hrd ministries the present hrd ministries or the ugc now seeking a review of the entire thing they are saying that the ugc decision ugc clearance was not taken so the decision was illegal no no I, i'm not a university official perhaps not a competent person to comment on this i'm responding to this debate as a teacher of a college who has engaged foundation courses of two sections and have uh, and have seen tremendous response so th th these assessments can vary what mhrd has to say what is the legality of it perhaps i am not the competent person okay. to take such questions okay okay yes yes sir yeah, i just want to respond to what this gentleman has been saying shankar kumar uh, shankar is a, kumar he is assistant professor in hindu yes. college uh he talked about politicization i think because delhi university functions as a public institution that must be kept in mind it's so when we are talking about its autonomy it's not the autonomy of a private individual or even a private institution it is an autonomy of an institution that has public accountability and therefore a politicization has happened i agree with him but it's a healthy politicization why i will use chomsky's phrase manufacturing consent he has talked about the academic congress now the kind of participation that he was talking about is hand picked the vice chancellor on his own unilaterally without seeking consent from the academic council uh, decided on an academic congress where people were uh, called invited okay we have discussed secondly this. secondly we have discussed uh, this last year the, actually the participation was absolutely passive in fact it was sam pitroda who was allowed to set the agenda for the so called reform which is, which turned out to be a kind of a deformity thirdly uh, on the issue of autonomy itself the autonomy is defined in terms of the delhi university act made by the parliament within the act sections 31 and 32 have been violated both the sections demand that once a decision is taken of this sort of making a radical change then the decision first of all has to be communicated to the visitor so that the visitor can apply his mind on it and if uh, if need be the visitor also has the right to set aside the decision secondly the decision has to be notified in the official gazette and placed before the parliament as soon as possible so that the parliament is given a chance to deliberate on the decision now neither of these have been done so within the university uh, act itself there are massive violations so what is this talk about autonomy i can't understand professor uh, professor hasan i'll come to you professor hasan very quickly uh, the fact is that you know don't you think that as uh, shankar is saying give it some time to see how whether it, it whether uh, it will work or not how are you not are you people not jumping to conclusions a little too soon Are you asking me? Yes, I'm well, asking. I mean, I'm, I'm asking you. Uh, have, this is a question which is asked uh, to all those people who are opposing or uh, wanting uh, to scrap uh, this thing. Uh, as an outsider and as somebody who has examined, uh, examined this uh, new project very carefully, I don't. 
actually see much merit in in the project in continuing this uh, uh, so that but that is something that we can discuss later what are its deficiencies and how it is it is in fact not going to work within the delhi university system the delhi university system from what little i know is a very complex one right it is very it it, it is very heterogeneous uh, and there are colleges which are have different levels of standards uh, and in both in terms of recruitment of teachers and, and admission of students there is great uh, unevenness if i may use that word now so that you cannot evolve a system which would as it were serve the interest of of so differentiated uh, 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 so you a, a think university. that the, there is no the, you you don't agree that this needs a little more time to assess it's, no it's, i agree with the president of the delhi university students union that that we must not perpetuate a system which uh, which is uh, which is what i think he said uh, yes a year is gone uh, uh, it's unfortunate that this is this is so but uh, just because somebody has lost a year it doesn't mean that we perpetuate a system that is going to be injurious for, harmful for the for the, to the larger aman is that the final stand what happens if, if if the government and everybody involved the delhi university the vice chancellor everybody requests you pleads with you people give it an, one at least another 2 3 4 years time we will see how the system works shankar says that you know we are you are not even allowing it allowing for the full system to even come out evolve and you are you are you are wanting it to be scrapped i don't ang- agree with mr shankar's point we cannot stake a like future of students we cannot take a chance it's not a game we cannot ch- take a chance it's the stake of students we cannot put future of students and like playing a game okay shankar quickly yes. you know there is huge opposition they say that you know you're playing as as aman says that we can't play it, it is not a game you can't play with the lives of the students future generations are going to be affected by it professor hasan thinks that this system is is not good enough to be continued see these are political positions that why uh, sh- no why are you uh, uh, shankar uh, one second uh, why do you complain you know, repeatedly say it's political positions yeah, aman I'll, I'll, aman I'll, I'll interrupt amar i let one second shankar you yes. should think w- ki why there was a change in political system people were not happy people were not happy students uh, i'll talk about delhi university students were not happy students were not satisfied they were against four year policy that's why there was a change in students political system so we went to students in our campaign we went to students students were completely against it we we raised this issue that will like fight for roll back of fiup we got a chance that means students are against so FIUP. it is a political okay shankar you know yeah, from yeah. what is can it can it, it, can it can is I, yes quickly, it, it is can i just quickly yeah, respond it, to that yes it is a political issue it is i mean and just keep on saying that politicizing it and as uh, saikat says that why not no no i, I i'm not saying exactly what saikat is uh, interpreting it uh what i'm saying is that they are taking a political position because they are bound to take a political position in capacity in what capacity they are saying that is what i am saying and absurd. and and uh, please understand that university also has some mechanism to elicit students response and so forth merely to say that it is a manufactured consent is not enough Okay. You have to see. You have, have to see the real response, the real okay. data in black and white. Okay, and Shankar. To 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 what to what uh, Aman uh, is saying. Let me let me quickly say. Very quickly, we cover a lot of time. Yeah, yeah. That 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 if governments change the way they are supposed to change, and if you make university systems, education systems, a concomitant of governmental changes. then perhaps we are going horribly wrong here okay. i think you are obfuscating the issue i think you are obfuscating the okay obfuscating the issue and, and, the issue and trivializing the stakes okay okay shankar i think we are completely run out of time but the fact of the matter is that it's, it's ironical that this was a system brought in by the previous uh, uh, when the UP, upa government was in power and now the uh, bjp led government is in power and the delhi university teachers association 
known as leftist leaning uh, bodies are now wanting to scrap the system and the, which is what the abvp also wants so the, the 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 politics has got quite mixed up in the in all these things but the fact of the matter is we don't know whether this four year course will continue this year or not we'll have to wait and watch how what the ugc will do what the government will do but till then unfortunately the anxiety of students and parents as well as teachers continues thanks to all my guests shankar kumar uh, professor mushirul hasan aman awala and saikat ghosh please keep watching we'll come back with another issue on the big picture same time tomorrow